watch your video and start the way you did with a double in the first 30 seconds. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> this, hey, I tell you what, though, I didn't have to wrestle a two-time returning NCAA champion in my final, but Mikey Labriola is the guy that can do this. I believe he's in position to do something special tonight. I hope that he's prepared, and he's going to have to shoot and score on numerous occasions and be ready for a seven-minute battle if he wants to win this one. Well, that's exactly what it's going to be, a seven-minute battle. The, Jordan, this is the most competitive guy I've seen in 40 years out there watching, guys. He is, we're talking about Carter Starachi. He doesn't give you anything. He stays in the top position. He hammers on your head. He'll do anything physical in the match to be able to win it, and you can't take him out of his positions. Well, he's an assassin. He really is. He's a straight-up killer coach, and he's mastered himself. It's all about yeah. self-mastery. If you can control your mindset and your pace, you're really not worried about what your opponent's doing. If your A game is better than their A game and all else is equal, you're going to come out and put the hammer down as much as you can. And I've never seen him come out of his A game. This guy's got a lot of aims. <laughs> Staraccia winner in 51 straight, a three-time All-American. Has not lost since March 6th of 2021. And this year is a rematch of the Big Ten Finals. Staraci of Penn State, a winner 6-1. to 3-0 mark all time against Labriola, and all of those meetings have come in postseason competition. Look at him get to that body, Coach. Yeah. Gets to that body. Trying to take that floating rib out right yep. there. He's going to get that left leg inside. Watch him try to step that left leg inside, or he's going to try to elevate here. He's lift, elevate, brace his lock. You could see he was a little tempted there. He was nervous. <laughs> yeah, I've never yeah. seen Sirachi he, back out he, of a he's, position. He's brought back out he of that said, position. I want out of here. Yeah. I'm trying to get out of bounds. Give me the exit out. plan. Those double overs will scare a man. But he's right back on him, Coach. Yeah, he does. With the heavy hands, expect to snap down. In that big match in the Big Ten, Sirachi was able to get to the legs. Good, solid finishes. Single leg shot right there. Nice job of adjusting and getting to that double. We see that so often with those Penn State wrestlers. They go ahead and attack low and come back to that double, finish with both legs. Yeah, well, you start with the single and then you build up and switch off to the double. He does a good job of positioning himself where his knees, chest, and head are all in the line. He and rarely gets in bad position. And now what he does, he puts that hammer on. Good, solid, tight waist ride. Works you hard. Like the fact that he's on the right hand side. A lot of guys don't learn the techniques on the right side that they learn when they pick up the sport on the left side. Really key thing. If you can learn how to get out from underneath equally from the guys on both sides, it really helps you out, helps you get to this level. And look what he's doing, coach. Look at how deep that tight waist is. His hand is on the small of Labriola's back on the opposite side. Almost three fourths the way out there, but this is Starachi. He doesn't give you anything. Yeah. And he does a really good job. Once he gets to that tight waist, he'll slide his knee, outside knee into your knee and slide your leg back and break you down to your hip. And then that tight waist gets even tighter. 2-0 leads to Rachi, short time in the first period. In both of his title matches, they've been close. His first, he beat Iowa's Michael Kemmerer, 2021 sudden victory. Last year, Makai Lewis of Virginia Tech, also an overtime victory. Oh, oh, oh Coach, look at this. Look what we got here. Look what we got here. That's time. That's time. Wow. wow. That's a competitive man. And the Grammy roll has cost these guys tonight. We saw Levi Haynes do it at 157, and now we see it again here. If you try to roll, you cannot do it without first clearing your hips. He let him go. And then he recaptured Mike Labriola once he was already on his back, and he was able to secure the fall. That's huge. You come into this matchup expecting it to be tough. You're ready to battle for an entire seven minutes. So when it happens early in the second, you're extremely excited <laughs> about it because it ended early, and you didn't have to do as much work as you expected. Pay that man. Take a look at this. Well, just what you're talking about, Watch Jordan. him let go. Limps Rolls, him out. Yep. Let go. Pick up captures. on that bottom leg there. Captures on the opposite side. Watch him sink. Now he's got the reverse half. He covers him with his chest, and there's a fall. <laughs> and there's the excitement. Look at the flex. Limped out right there. Picked up on that bottom leg. Kept the belt buckle to the sky. Watch him settle. Reverse half. Look at him. Chest to chest in the flex. And this man <laughs> is a three-time national champion. A hug to the coach. These are the guys that are in the trenches with you. Awesome. Let's go to Q. Carter's finishing off his hugs here. Uh, 
family? Yeah, the whole gang. Every, everyone at Penn State's my family. If you had to thank him, what would you say? I couldn't put into words, you know, just just my coaches, my my team, my family, my support. I mean, it, it means the world to me. I mean, I think, I know we talk about it a lot, but I don't think you guys will understand what it's like to be with all of our coaches, our team. It's, it's something you have to experience, understand that power and that love that that's with, within this program. How does that manifest itself on, onto the mat on, on championship Saturday night? Yeah, I think that's, that's what big balls look like, you know what I mean? Um, I think it feels good being a three-timer. Um, I just joined an elite company with Penn State. That's the that's a that's a tie for the record, but that's not where this train stops. You know, it's it keeps going forward. I'll be back in the gym on on uh, on Monday, so dreams don't work unless you do. Where's the next stop? That Olympic gold medal. That's the next stop. So nice. next stop, Olympic gold medal. Yeah, that's yeah, something else. Yeah. So that's um this is cool, but I want the peak of the sport, and I don't look past this because this is this is what I wake up to do every single day. You know, it's been fun. It's smacking the head off the college scene, but I want. I want that Olympic gold and then the MMA title. Those MMA guys, it's a guy, it's a guy that's champ in my weight class. He was a D2 national champ. That's that's beginner stuff where I come from. So I'll be ready for all of it. Enjoyed watching your wrestling in first class off the mat as well. Thank you.